Lenora Zenzeli Helm is a vocal musician who has wowed audiences all over the world on jazz stages and festivals, for gala fundraisers and corporate events, and whose six solo CD recordings garner critical acclaim from listeners and peers. Oh, there's never easy street. Now we are black and white and bracing out on the lunatic New York night. A native of Chicago, Illinois, Lenora Zenzeli Helm served as U.S. Jazz Ambassador for the State Department and Kennedy Center and is a phenomenal woman of firsts. She was the first African-American woman to earn a Bachelor of Music in Film Scoring and Voice from the Berklee College of Music. First African-American woman to earn a Master of Music in Jazz Performance and Voice from the East Carolina University. The first African-American woman to earn Chamber Music of America's highly competitive Jazz Composers Award, New Works Creation and Presentation Award. And last but not least, the first African-American woman to earn a residency as a jazz composer at the McDowell Colony. No wonder with honors like these, Jazz Is Magazine touted her as the voice of her generation. And with her 25 years as a jazz musician, composer, and educator, earned her the yearly inclusion in Who's Who in American Women, Who's Who in America, and Who's Who in the World since 2005. Life was washed away, but we know that will save us all. Miss Lenora Ham was Lenora Ham. Awesome job. Awesome, awesome. Take it out with another world. Effortless. Very unique. Imagine yourself peaceful. Beautiful. Seamless. I really enjoyed it. I really like it. Awesome. Not just a touring performer, Lenora Zenzeli Helm is a seasoned recording artist who can hang her hat on just about any style of jazz from classic traditional or contemporary stylings. Lenora is comfortable singing ballads, swing, blues, Latin, and up-tempo jazz, and often writes a lot of her own music. She has six recordings leading a range of an impressive cadre of not only renowned jazz masters and living legends, such as Ron Carter, Dave Liebman, Andrew Hill, and Stanley Cowell, but also the new generation of top artists, including Antonio Hart, Donald Brown, Mulgrew Miller, and Branford Marsalis. Marsalis produced her 2009 release, Chronicles of a Butterfly. Chronicles, a tribute to her late mentor, pianist and composer Andrew Hill, includes her work as a lyricist on his composition, Hermano Frera, which she performed with Mr. Hill on his jazz spar tour in Europe. And she has written lyrics requested by, or with the approval of the likes of Wayne Shorter, Branford Marsalis, and Jason Moran, and The Bandwagon, and many others. One might ask, where does she get the inspiration for such a wide array of creative expression? From the wordless vocals to the music of John Coltrane and the lyrics to Wayne Shorter solos to her composing jazz suites with contemporary jazz pieces in lyrics that haunt and nurture you. Lenora's love of the arts, whether poetry, paintings, literature, or dance, show up in her work. Her sixth release, I Love Myself When I Am Laughing, comes from the title of author Zora Neale Hurston's anthology of the same name. With many faces on the vocal jazz scene, what makes Lenora different? What audiences say after hearing Lenora is how incredible her vocal range is, and how beautiful and soothing her voice is, and that she has touched them. She makes you feel like she is singing only to you. She is a vocal musician who understands that not only must you learn to perform jazz, but you must sing. Lenora, she is just very supportive. Beautiful singer. The people heard what I already knew about her. Um, they were excited to hear her. She kind of glides over the top and waits for those special moments. One comment was that she is almost like an instrument on the stage. Hope to work with her soon. And I knew bringing her to the event as a guest artist, it would raise the level of the event. 
She has dedicated her time to nurturing the emerging and upcoming artists entering the field, teaching as a professor in jazz studies at the North Carolina Central University, directing the NCCU Vocal Jazz Ensemble of 16 Voices and Rhythm Section, and thus carefully balances the performances and travel schedule with her passion to help shape the future of jazz. The more I'm with you, pretty baby, the more jazz festival or event to make a lasting impression and have audiences rave about their experience, you need Lenora Zinzaley Helm on the bill. So book her now before the few spots on her calendar fill up.